לא רואה מילה שבאה לה? עכשיו הוא רואה. אתה יודע את הפרופסייה של הדעות של הקינגדום? בבלון הגרעית, אמריקה הגרעית. First and foremost, all praises, all power, all praises, all power to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone of Tito and of Ruel. Peace and salutation to the Akim, the fellow laborers, the hopeful elect, pushing this truth at risk of their own lives throughout the four corners of the earth. To the Akwath listening, listening and learning, Shalom. To Brother Shema, from the Pillars of Benjamin camp, here in Toronto, here to prophesy the downfall of America the Great, Babylon the Great, and salvation for the elect, the one-third, you Israelites, you so-called indigenous, you so-called Latino, you so-called Negro. We'll get right into it. We'll get right into it. Right? Luke 19, and this is why we do this. This is why we prophesy. Because it's, it's, a, straight, it's a straight commandment from Yahweh Shai. Luke chapter 19. chapter 14 verse 23 and it reads and this is a red letter straighter, straighter of our Lord's mouth and the Lord said unto the servant go out into the highways and hedges right that's these streets man right doesn't it say in Proverbs chapter 1 with wisdom cry with wisdom cry without we'll get that next word willing and the Lord said Luke 14 verse 23 and the Lord said unto the servant go out into the highways and hedges and compel them to come in that my house may be filled right compel what does that word compel me? Right, we're out here prophesying. That word compel. Salak. That word compel. Let's look it up. Right? Out here in the hedges doing the work. Compel. To drive, to urge, right? physical or moral force, right, urging, seeking out the elect to come in so that the house may be filled. Whose house? Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, the one-third, the elect, the house of David, the tabernacle of David, right? Let's read it again. Luke 14, verse 23, and the Lord said unto the servant, go out into the highways and the hedges and compel them to come in that my house may be filled, right? The house of Yahweh B'Shem Yahushai, the tabernacle of David, right? I wanted to go into uh, the spirit, the spirit is on me to go into uh, peace and safety, right? Because we see all these, uh, right here where I'm at in Toronto, Toronto, Canada, everything's opened up as of uh, yesterday, Friday, right? And uh, you see everyone out here, patios are full, man. On the way in, all you see is patios, bar patios full, right? Everyone thinks it's going back to normal, man, right? But it's not so. Right? 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 1. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. Right? The two-thirds is going to be on post. Two-thirds are going to be on watch. Apostle Paul is saying here he didn't have to write to, to, to the elect. 
write it to the two-thirds to get right, right? Verse 2, for yourselves know perf perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night, right? The day of the Lord, Yahweh B'Shem Shai. It's coming as a thief in the night. No one's going to know it's coming. It's going to come, it's going to come, uh, it's going to catch people as a snare. Luke 21, verse 34. And it reads, and take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts, right, your minds, be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness, right? Partying, surfeiting, drunkenness, drinking it up, turn, getting turned up. Now do as I will, that's what's going on right now. Everyone thinks it's going back to normal. These pubs are full, these bars are full, waiting lists, man. People gotta call in with their credit card, their Visa card, their American Express, and, and, and book a table to surfeit. Right? And banquet and feast, right? And and take heed, Luke 21 verse 34 once again, and take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and cares of this life, and so that day come upon you unawares. Right. So everyone's gonna be caught up, caught up in this, not knowing. What's coming? Right, not knowing that destruction's coming. The cares of this life. Right? Back to uh, 1 Thessalonians 5. And look, out here, man, right now, uh, uh, right now, a spectacle. Let's get that. Every car that drives by, man, let's get that. Spectacle. The Mosai, it's in Corinthians. And that's what's going on. Everyone that's driving by, you know, but the water y'all bashim y'all shy. For this knowledge, this wisdom, this understanding, right? Spectacle. It's in uh, Corinthians. I believe first in Corinthians 5, if I'm not mistaken. First Corinthians 4, verse 9. made a spectacle unto the angels, right? 1 Corinthians 4, verse 9. Right? Death and destruction is coming. 1 Corinthians 4, verse 9, and it reads, and this is what's happening right now, to all us brothers out here prophesying the downfall of America, the great Babylon the Great, right? For I think that Yahweh hath set forth us the apostles last, as it were appointed to death. For we are made a spectacle unto the world, and to angels, and to men. Right, we're made a spectacle right now. To the world, to angels, and to men. You know you're an Israelite, right? You're an Israelite. Yeah, you. I said you're an Israelite. You're an Israelite. You're a Hebrew Israelite of the Bible. The Most High is chosen, right? You're, you're the true Jew. You're the true Jew of the Bible. Yeah. I'm right here anytime you're ready. Yeah, bless. For I think that Yahweh has set forth us, the apostles last, as it were appointed to death. For we are made a spectacle unto the world and to angels and to men, right? We're a spectacle out here, man, right? But the Most High put the Spirit on us to do this, to warn before he makes his move. Because he's going to make his move. His word will not go back void, right? Jake just drove by, told him he's a Hebrew Israelite. He responded and said he doesn't practice nothing. I said he's a true, you heard the interaction. I told him I'm here when he's ready, right? Pushing this word, destruction's coming, right? Jeremiah 28, verse 8. Let's get that, precept just came to mind. We're rolling with the Spirit. You know, I, I, I had a couple of precepts written down, but you know how it goes, man. We'll roll with the Spirit. Jeremiah 28, verse 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries. Right. Us in this truth, I don't want to out the prophets, the elect. We're prophesying the destruction of this place. Right? Prophesying what? Prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence, right? 
There's, there's war, evil, and pestilence throughout this book, man. And that's what's coming. Repent. 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 4, once again. No, Salah. 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 3. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Right? And that's what's being said right now. Peace and safety. Right? Open up. Get punched up. Book, book, your, book your patio to drink a bucket of beers. Right? Book your patio stay. Right? When destruction's coming. Second Ezra, uh, 16 verse 38 in the Apocrypha. And it reads, Right? And, the, and these are the labor pains right now. Peace and safety, these are the labor pains. Right? Second, second Ezra 16, verse 37. Behold, meaning look, the plagues draw nigh and are not slack. As when a woman with child is in the ninth month, bringeth forth her son, and, with, and within two or three hours of her birth, great pains come past her womb, which pains, when the child cometh forth, they slack not a moment. Right? These pains can't turn around, man. Right? This destruction that's coming, the most I said it forth, these plagues, it's, it's not turning around. Yesterday I was reading an article that uh, another plague is licking down uh, uh, the UK, something called the monkeypox, man. I'm gonna read into it some more. I don't want to watch this But uh, there's cases of this thing called the monkey monkeypox. The most is not slack, man. He's let them loose. And it's gonna continue to ramp up and get worse and increase, right? None shall escape this destruction that's coming. 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 4, verse 5, verse 4, Salah. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness, right? The elect, the elect's not in darkness. They have the eye self, man. They have the eye self. Eyes that they can see, right? Right, gross darkness, gross darkness to get that. Gross darkness is on this on this on this on this earth, man. Mirth. People think mirth is coming back. Mirth ain't coming back. Isaiah 50, uh, 60, verse 1. Arise, shine, for thy light is come. And the glory of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, is risen upon thee, right? The glory. And how does that glory rise upon the, the, uh, upon thee, the elect, the one third? Through Yahweh Shai, the spirit of Yahweh Shai, on, 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 on his men, right? For behold, verse 2, for behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, right? This darkness is, is confusion, right? No wisdom, no knowledge, no understanding of what's to come, right? It's on the whole earth, right? It's only the elect have the eye self, the one third, right? And gross darkness, gross, gross, that word gross in the Hebrew, I believe it's heavy, thick. Let's get it. Isaiah 60, let's get it. Gross darkness, confusion, man. This world, this world out here don't know what's going on, man. People are getting ready to mirth it up, right? No eye self, no wisdom, no knowledge, no understanding. But when, 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 when the hammer drops, the bugging out will begin, right? Isaiah 6, where was that? Isaiah 60. Gross, gross darkness. Gross. Khan. In the Hebrew, Arafel, Strong's 86205, Arafel, cloud, heavy or dark cloud, darkness, gross, thick, right, thick darkness, no wisdom, no knowledge, no understanding, confusion out here, right, for behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, the gross darkness, the people, but Yahweh shall rise, shall arise upon thee, 
and his glory shall be seen upon thee. Right. And Yahweh shall arise upon who? The elect. The one third. Right? Right? While the rest of this earth is bugging out. Not knowing what to do. Isaiah 25, verse 7. And it reads, And he, and he will destroy in this mountain the face, right? The Most High is destroying in, in this mountain, this people, this 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 kingdom, right? Mountainous people or governments in this kingdom, Esau's kingdom, and he will destroy in the mountain the face of the covering cast over all the people, and the veil that is spread over all nations, right? He's destroying the covering cast, covering cast. I'm 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 a nigga, you know. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Canadian. I'm American. I'm a Roman Catholic. I'm a Christian. I'm a I'm a I'm a uh, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a Hindu, right? The covering caste. These titles given by Esau Edom. The Most High is destroying those right now, man. Right? Let's read that again. Isaiah 25, verse 7. And he will destroy in his mountain the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. Right? This veil, Christianity, plantation, Christianity, Islam, right? The Most High is destroying those strongholds, man. Right? This gross darkness is covering all the people. One third of our people are, 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 are what well, one third of the elect are the only ones that got, got this ice out, man. Right? That have woken up out of this gross darkness. That's why we out here prophesying, crying, crying and sighing, crying aloud, sparing not. Right? One in Jacob, let's get it. Of their sins, man. To seal the elect. The quicker we seal the light, the quicker we get out of this place, man. This wicked, sinful kingdom. Right? Isaiah 58. The vibration of, uh, the vibration of freeness is out here, man. Free to, free to run. Isaiah 58, verse 1, and it reads, Cry aloud, spirit not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Right? Cry aloud, spirit not. Right? Come out here on the highways and the byways and the hedges. Right? Right? Warren Jacob. Israel. Israel being a people before a place. You so called indigenous, you so called Latino, you so called Negro. Right? Cry aloud, spirit not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgression. Right? Transgression is sin. Right? Breaking of the transgression is breaking of the law. Right? And the house of Jacob, their sins. Right? The house of Jacob, their sins. Right? Let's look what transgression is, man. First John's 4, since we mentioned it. 1 John 3, verse 4. Whosoever committed sin, right? Transgresseth, right? Break it. Break it. Transgresseth to break. Also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law, right? That's why you know this law ain't done away with. Wacky tacky likes to teach that this law is done away with. You know what I mean? It's not. Right? You gotta keep it to the best of your ability. Israelites. Israel being a people for a place. And it's lost for nobody else, right? It's only for Jacob, right? Psalms 149, Jacob being Israel, Yasharala, right? Only for Jacob. These heathens can do what they want, man. Psalms 147, verse 19, and it reads, He showeth his word unto Jacob, right? The Mosai, Yahweh, Hashem Yahushai, right? He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel, right? His statutes and his judgments, his laws, his laws, statutes and commandments, right? Only Yasharala, Israel, Israel being a people before a place. Deuteronomy 14, verse 2, for thou art a holy people, who? Yasharala, Israel being a people before a place, a holy people, right? Unto Yahweh thy power. And Yahweh has chosen thee. The most I chose Yasharab. Israel. Israel being a people before a place. Right? Yahweh hath chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself. Above all the nations that are upon the earth. Above all the nations. So all these other nations, these heathen nations, Moab, Ishmael, Ammonite, Amalek, Esau, right? You Edomites, right? Israel is above all of you. We're just in a broken state because of our because because of the curses, because of our sins, because of our fathers go our forefathers going off. Right? 
Psalms 147, verse 19. Once again, he showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation. Right, no other nation has he dealt with like this, man. None. The Simeon, none. Israel alone. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Right, these other nations don't know the judgments of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. It's only for Israel, right? Praise ye, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Back to uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 4. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that that, that, that that day should overtake you as a thief. Right. The elect is not in darkness. The elect is not going to be caught off guard when Yahweh Shai cracks that sky and decides to lay waste to this place and judge. Right? The elect won't be caught off guard. Two thirds of our people will be caught off guard. But the elect won't. Right? The elect aren't in darkness. Verse 5. 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 5. Ye are the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Right? We, we got the eye self, man. This knowledge, this wisdom, this understanding. Man. Verse 6. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. Right? Standing on our watch, standing firm in, 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 in the statutes, laws, laws, statutes, and commandments. Of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, right? Right? I'm watching for these prophecies, man. And then blowing the trumpet. Right? Time's running out. Time is running out. Right? The Most High is about to lay waste. To this place, man. Right? But people out here trusting in the shadow of Egypt. Second Ezra 16, verse 19. And it reads. Behold, famine and plague. Right, famine, starving to death, plague, these diseases, these pestilences, right? Tribulation, right? Tribulation, right? It's only gonna ramp, it's, it's only gonna get worse and increase. And anguish are sent as scourges for amendment, right? The most I sent these things that are happening right now on the earth, man. Right? The most I sent these things, right? Doesn't it say uh Isaiah 45? Verse 7. I form the light. Isaiah 45, verse 7, and it reads. I form the light and create darkness. Right? Who? Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai. I make peace and create evil. I, Yahweh, do all these things. Right? The Most High is doing all these things that are happening on the earth, man. The Most High is doing it. Nobody else. The Most High sent him forth his scourges for amendment, his evil angels. Psalm 78, verse 49. And it reads, and this is what he did in the ancient world uh, uh, when, when the Israelites were in the wilderness. He cast upon them the fierceness of his anger, wrath, and indignation, and trouble. By how? By who? By, by doing what? By sending evil angels among them. Right? The Most High. Yahweh Bashim Shai. It's his movie. He's the orchestrator. The good and the bad. The light and the dark. Second Ezra 16 verse 19 once again. Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. But for all these things they shall not turn away. Salah. But for all these things they shall not turn from their wickedness. Right? <laughs> We're about to see more and more wickedness wrap up more and more. Right? Right? So even though all these things are going down, right? They're, 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 they're not going to turn away. The wicked are going to continue being the wicked. Two thirds of our people are going to continue being two thirds of our people, man. Right? Right? And the more and more the elect gets sealed, the more and more you're going to see it ramp up. Because once the elect are fully sealed, that's it, man. Right?
verse 20 once again. 2 Ezra 16, verse 20. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of their scourges. Behold, victuals shall be good so cheap, Salah, be so good cheap upon the earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case, right? Everyone thinks everything is good right now, man. Victuals means food, but you, you can apply it to the, the, you know, the opening up, the bars, the patios, right? They think they're in good case, man, but they're not. And even then, shall evils grow upon the earth, right? The evils are still growing upon the earth, even though everything looks like it's going back to quote unquote so-called normal, right? Right? And what are some of these evils? Sword, famine, and great confusion. For many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine, right? Enough, enough people out here are going to die from starvation, man, right? There's a drought out there on the west coast, right? Water shortage on the west coast, right? And the other that escape the hunger, right? And those that get away from those that don't die, those that don't starve to death, right? Shall the sword destroy, right? The sword, killing instrument, man. So either it, 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 it doesn't matter what, what, what if you if you think you get away, you're still gonna get smite, man. Uh, Amos five. Precept. Amos chapter 5, verse 18, I believe. Yeah. Amos 5, verse 18. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amos 5, verse 18. Woe, meaning destruction, unto you that desire the day of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, right? Yahweh Waikitaki out here, I'm saved, I'm saved. <laughs> I love the Lord. <laughs> right? I'm saved, right? No, man, listen. Woe unto you that desire, right? They say they're saved and, you know, they desire the coming of a Mashiach. But they don't know what's in store, man. They avoid these scriptures, right? Isaiah, Amos 5 verse 18, Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? Right, what is the end? Is, what, what end is it for you, man? What, what we just read in 2nd Ezra chapter 16, you know, those that escape the famine the, 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 and the hunger, the sword shall, shall, shall destroy. The day of the, 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 the day of Yahweh is darkness and not light. Right, it's, 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 it's not a pretty thing, man. It's destruction, man. Right, as if a man did flee from a lion and the beer met him, or went into the house, and leaned his hand on the wall, and a serpent bit him, right? So you're gonna, in, in this, in, the, in, the, in Jacob's trouble, right, two thirds of our people, they're gonna, they'll, they'll, they'll escape one, one scenario, but another one will catch them, man. Right? It'll be a continual thing, so they'll think they get away from one, but they're gonna run up in another one, right? So not the day, of Yahweh be darkness and not light, even very dark and no brightness in it, right? It's not going to be bright, man. It's a day of mourning. It's a day of lamentation. It's a day of destruction. It's a day of fire, right? A day of fire, right? Fire. Let's go into that. I don't want to write this up. Revelation 17. Revelation 17, verse 11. And the beast that was and is not, right, ancient Rome, even he is the eighth, 
right? The eighth is America the Great. And is of the seven, right? America the Great is the eighth, but is of the seven. Who are the seven? Uh, 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 Jermaine Major, Jermaine Major, Salah, Jermaine Major, Jermaine Major, Jermaine Minor, uh, France, the English, the Greeks, uh, Rome, and the British, right? Seven kingdoms of Isa, right? America the Great is of them, is of the seven, but is the eighth, right? And it's of the seven and goeth into perdition, right? America the Great will be destroyed. Perdition means destruction. Amer thus set the scriptures. And the ten horns, right, EU, the European Union, NATO and the EU, which thou sawest, are ten kings, which have received no kingdom as yet, but received power as kings, one hour with the beast, right? That one hour with the beast is the 42 years when the ECC, the European, the, the, the European, the EEC, the European Economic Community, now known as the EU, the European Union, was formed, right? These have one mind, and shall give their power and strength unto the beast, right? The beast being the image of Rome, the system of Rome, right? Backed by the military might of NATO, right? These shall make war with the Lamb, right? And who is the Lamb? Yahweh Shai. And the Lamb shall overcome them, for he is Lord of Lords and King of Kings, and they that are with him are called, called and chosen and faithful, right? They that are with him are the one-third, the elect, the call, the chosen and faithful, right? And he saith unto me, the waters which thou sawest, where the whore sitteth, right? The whore is America the Great. The waters is the people, right? The waters is the people. Our peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues, right? America the Great is a great melting pot. It sitteth upon all nations, nations and tongues, right? And the ten horns, right? The EU, which thou sawest upon the beast, right? These shall hate the whore, right? Ultimately, NATO and the EU is going to turn on the whore who is America. Right? This is the destruction. This is the fire. Right? Let's read that again. Revelation 17, verse 16. And the ten horns, which thou sawest upon the beast, he shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh, and burn her with fire. Right? That fire is nuclear, intercontinental ballistic missiles. Yeah, Esau, you. Laughing. Right? Destruction's coming. Thus set the scriptures. Right? Let's go into Obadiah. As a matter of fact, let's go into Rev uh, Isaiah. That, that Edomite right there laughing. Off camera. Let's get it. Isaiah 14. In the spirit. Laughing. Does he know where he's going? He doesn't. Isaiah 14 verse 1. For Yahweh will have mercy on Jacob. Right. Yasharala. Israel. Israel being a people before a place. And will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. Right. The Most High is going to bring the Israel, Israel being a people, back into the land. Yasharala. Israel can't do it on their own. Right. The Most High has to do it. And set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them. Right. Right. The Israelite foreigners. Right. Shall be joined with them. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. And the people shall take them, the people, who's the, who, who, what, what people? The Israelites, right? Shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Yasharala, Israel, shall possess them, right? Israelites are going to possess who? And shall possess them in the land of Yahweh for servants and handmaids, right? All these other nations, beginning with Esau, Edom, is going to be possessed for servants and handmaids, man. Beginning with Esau Edom. Thus says the scriptures, right? And they shall take them captives, right? The Israelites shall take them captives, right? Whose captives they were, right? Because we're in our captivity right now. We still are. To this day. Right? To this day we're in this captivity. Right? And they shall rule over their oppressors, right? The scriptures say, we shall rule over our oppressors, man. We are oppressed right now. Israel being a people for a place. But in the kingdom, we shall be on, on the planet Earth. Right? They shall be our slaves, man. That's your future, Esau. Esau, Edom. That's your future. 
right? Isaiah 60, verse 14. It's another kingdom prophecy for Esau Edom, right? The sons, Isaiah 60, verse 14, and it reads, The sons also of them that afflicted thee, right? The sons, matter of fact, scripture just came to mind. Isaiah 14, verse 21. Isaiah 14, verse 21. Prepare slaughter for his children. Prepare slaughter for who? Esau Edom. His children. Esau Edom. The ruling class elites. The banking families. The so-called white men. Babylon the Great. America the Great. Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers. Right? The iniquity. Sin upon sin of their fathers. Right? Right? The transatlantic slave trade. The, the, the smallpox on the northern kingdom, right? Right, the lynching, the murders, right? The castrations, right? Right, the, the sins of their fathers, right? Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers that they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the face of the world with cities, right? This is the end time prophecy, man. They're never gonna rise again I, I, when Yahweh Shai comes back, man, right? For I will rise up against them, said Yahweh of hosts, right? Yahweh. The Father, meaning he exists, of hosts, hosts being armies, right? And cut off from Babylon the name and remnant and son and nephew, said Yahweh, right? That's that's that that's their future. That's Esau's future. Right? Right? That's his future. Isaiah 60 verse. 14, once again, the sons also of them that afflicted thee, right? The sons of Esau, Edom, that afflicted the Israelites, Israel being a people before a place, right? Shall come bending unto thee, and all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet, right? All they that despise thee. So all these other nations, Moab, Ishmael, Amalek, Ammonites, right? Are gonna come, are gonna come bowing, bowing themselves down at the soles of our feet, man, right? And all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet, and they shall call thee the city of Yahweh, the Zion of the Holy One of, of Israel. Right. That's 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 a, that's, a, that's a kingdom prophecy, man. Right. That's what's in store for Esau Edom. Right. That's what's in store. Where were we? Where were we in our? Spirit, you know? Spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Ezekiel 28, verse 4, and it reads, With thy wisdom and with thy understanding, thou hast gotten thee riches. Right, that's America. Right? The wisdom and the understanding that the Most High put on them, right, for them to get their, their, their riches. Right? And has gotten gold and silver into thy treasures. By thy great wisdom and by thy traffic hast thou increased thy riches. Right? Their, 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 their wisdom and, and their trade, their commerce. Right? And thy heart is lifted up because of thy riches, right? Heart, America the Great thinks they can't be touched. 
right? Their, 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 their heart, their heart being mine is lifted up. They're proud. Therefore, verse 6, Therefore, thus saith Yahweh power, because thou hast set thy heart as the heart of, of Yahweh, right? Because you set your mind as if you're the Most High, right? Esau Edom did this. That's one of their, that, that, that's their blaspheme, right? Behold, therefore I will bring strangers upon thee, the terrible of the nations, and they shall draw their swords against thy beauty of thy wisdom, and they shall defile thy brightness. They shall bring thee down to the pit, and thou shalt die the deaths of them that are slain in the midst of the seas. Right? America the Great will be destroyed by nuclear fire. In one hour, let's close out. Revelation 18, verse 9. And the kings, Revelation 18, verse, verse 8, and it reads, Therefore shall her plague come in one day. Right. And what's that plague that's going to come in one day? That destroying wind, that nuclear fire, intercontinental ballistic missiles launched from the land from the north. Right. God and Magog, Russia, who is known as Russia, will lead the charge. Right. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire, for strong is Yahweh power who judges her, right? Those ICBMs, intercontinental ballistic missiles, in tandem with the, the, the concentrated heat from the chariots, what the world even calls UFOs, is going to burn America the Great. Verse 9, and the kings of the earth, right, these other rulers, right, other, other, other governments, who have committed fornication, right? I've laid down in bed with her, right? Traded with her commerce, took on her ways, her philosophy, her doctrine, right? Her wine, right? Wine being her doctrine and her way, her democracy, right? And live deliciously with her, shall bewail her and lament, right? Why are they gonna bewail and lament? No more money to be made, right? Shall bewail her and lament for her, when they shall see the smoke of her burning, right? They're going to see her burning standing from afar off, man. Right? Right? That lake of fire. ICBMs, intercontinental ballistic missiles. In tandem with the chariots. What the world even calls UFOs. The laser beams. Right? Revelation 18, verse 10. Standing afar off for the fear of her torment, right? Standing far for fear of being touched too, right? Saying, alas, alas, that great city, Babylon, right, which is America, that mighty city, right, which is America, for in one hour is thy judgment come, one hour. I pray you edify, I don't want to say, that's it, I'm at. Stay prayed up, prayed up, ceasing. All power and glory, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka, Kodash. Stay prayed up, prayed up, ceasing. Kwame Asharala, and I'm... Kwame Asharala and Abad Baba.